Hello, today I'm going to show you how to construct a while loop in Visual Studio 2010 C++ edition. A while loop is a type of code that allows programs to repeat a statement or statements in a continuous loop if this certain condi test condition is true. Now, to start off this while loop, we are going to declare a variable, which I'm going to declare my variable as x equals 0. When I do this, I am set. I am telling the program that I want my my variable to start at zero, or to start counting at zero, rather. When I type in while, it turns blue. Now, a reason why I typed in an open parenthesis is to start the test condition. The test condition tells the program what you want to count by or count up to the numbers of, excuse me. When I mean this, the number will start at zero, then end at nine, because that is ten numbers. When I do this, I'm going to type in an open bracket, or open curly. This allows me to type in a printf. Printf allows you to put a sentence with your count. For example, this variable of x is percent d backslash n which is starts a new line in your program close quote comma x reason why you need to put x in there is to allow the counter to know what you're counting about because if you do not put this X in your program will not run properly. Next you will have to put in your counter which the simplest counter because of this variable will be X plus plus. What the plus plus means is that your number will increase by the number of one. When I do this I have to immediately close my curly. When I do this I will then put my system pause in to allow the program to cease. Once I put the system pause in right here, I have to make sure that I include the standard library. If I do not, the program will not compile correctly. Okay, let's go ahead and compile this and see what we have. Great, we have one succeeded. Let's go ahead and start running the program. As you can see here, the program ran successfully. The, int the de declaration of x equals zero means it started out at zero. The while, which is which was the test condition, since this is a true con test condition, it went up to ten numbers. Example, zero, one, all the way to nine, which this equals up to ten zero, ten numbers. If I were to put in start at one right here, and then put 10, it, this number right here will be a no, 1, and this number right here will be a 10. Thus, it will go up to 1 to 10. Now, when I put the x plus plus as the counter in here, it counted correctly. Now, say if I were to take out the counter, what will happen? What will happen is that since you did not put a counter in, it still says that your variable, the variable of x is zero because your number starts at zero. But if you do not have a counter in, like I do not have here, my program will con be continuous and forever and it will not stop until I put the counter in. Once I put this counter in, this then fixes a problem as you see here. Now, say if you wanted to like count at 10, which you would change your x equals to 10, so you will declare your variable of x to be 10. Say that you wanted to count to, I don't know, 50. Same pipe. Keep everything the same like you have, just to change a few numbers, it will still compile correctly. Just your numbers will be different. See, right here. Your number started at 10, and it went all the way down 
to 49, which to the program, this is 50 numbers. Like if you were to start off at 1 to 10, etc. So this is an example of a simple while loop. I hope you all learned something today, and I look forward to teaching you in the future. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.